guys so by the title you already know what i'm gonna talk about so yeah if you're new hi my name is Rico. if you've been here before well i'm gonna talk about you know the breakup so my boyfriend and i broke up well we broke up like a month and a half two weeks two months ago i don't know i don't know didn't really keep track of it but we broke up basically and if you don't know my boyfriend there's a video before about um how my boyfriend and i met and then there's like his face was all over my tiktok so yeah um if you were on my tiktok live last week though or this week or whenever it was you would already know that we broke up but yeah for the ones that don't know the ones in the back we broke up and it wasn't like anything bad per se it was just like long distance you know i couldn't really do it and it like <laughs> oh my goodness Sorry, I'm nervous and I'm laughing because I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. But, yeah, it just didn't work out because of the distance. And I realized that your love language has a lot to do with, like, relationships on the whole. So, and mine is physical touch. And, obviously, if I'm living in Trinidad and he's living in New York, there's no physical touch there's no kisses no hugs there's nothing right and it was it was okay like it was like i could have tolerated it because i mean initially when we got together it was like okay i just have to do this long distance thing for like three months then i'll see him then we'll do it again for three months then i'll see him then we'll do it again for three months then i'll see him. so i thought in my head that every three months i'll get to see him right first three months passed and then that was like christmas and he didn't come here because his family was there but you know christmas so then it like shift back to like six months so i was like okay three more months i just have to do this so i can see him right it shift back again and i was like okay that's the last three months right so it shifted to three um well it was always three in my head and then shift to six and then i was like okay i just have to do this for three more months and like in my head i was kind of counting only time because i need a hug like i like it didn't really like nothing else mattered to be honest like nothing else you could have just hug me like i just need a hug i look kiss on my forehead and i'm good you know and then like when it shift to six it shift again to nine and that's when like my battery started dying you know when like your social battery dies when you're out with your friends and then the only way it recharges is when you go home and then it recharges and then you could go out again another time that's how it was like my battery was dying and the only way it could like recharge is me seeing him like it really could have recharged just by a hug and a little kiss on my forehead like i didn't need a whole date or you know a whole week like i really just needed a hug and i couldn't get a hug i can get any kind of physical touch and if you know me personally you know that i also have very little friends you know and like he was my best friend he was my boyfriend he was everything so i don't have a best friend and i don't have a boyfriend so i can't get nothing at all you know like and not it's not like i was even distracted by like friends like could just take my mind off of it no i just study and that's right true because that's my best friend and that's my boyfriend and, and i just want to hang out like like you know you know what i mean so when i shift back again to nine my battery started dying and that's when like 
things started going like it was it wasn't even going down it was like a roller coaster like it would just go down one week then it would be up again then it would be down then it would be up then yeah and it was just hard see because my battery was dying and it was like he was putting in a hundred percent so it was like he was putting in 80 percent and i was just going 20. so it's like it's like um oh gosh how to put it it was like you know how they say relationships are supposed to be 50 50 so my battery was dying and it was going down so every time it go down so it's like 50 50 it starts off and then when i go to 40 he went up to 60 i went to 30 he went up to 70 i went down to 20 he would go up to 80 so he was always putting in the work but when i actually like sat and analyzed it i was like i'm hurting him because you know i'm not putting in the same amount and it wasn't because I didn't want to I just didn't have like I just was dead you know I just wanted a hug like that's all you know I just need a hug I just need a one hug and I don't want to hug nobody else I don't want to be with anybody else I just wanted a hug you know and I always told him like you know even though my battery is dying or whatever like it's not that I want to be single I don't want to be single. I still want to be with you. I just can't do the long distance. I can't do it at all. So, yeah. And then eventually we just broke up. And obviously that was hard too. Because long distance is hard. But the breakup was also hard. But it wasn't hard for me at the beginning. Because I had work. And... If you know me, you know I have school and work, so I barely have time for myself, right? So when when we broke up, it was like it didn't really happen in my head. I was like, "Nah, we're still together," you know. Like we were still talking, like every day I would still call him and stuff. It wasn't as frequent as it was in the relationship, but it was still there. Like it was still normal to call him and be like, "Well, you know, you know, so and so and so," and call him after work as well. But yeah. I didn't process the whole thing until like two weeks after. So we broke up and it was like it didn't happen in my head. I was like, nah, we ain't break up. We cool. And then eventually, like some night, I was just lying there and I was just thinking about it. And I just exploded, obviously. And it was terrible. It was terrible but yeah and then you know we spoke about it and stuff and stuff but I guess we just cool now you know we just cool or whatever um I would say though like the relationship itself was good like if he was here or I was there like living I like it I feel like it would have last so so part of me was like maybe it's just right person wrong timing kind of thing but then part of me is just like I don't know I don't know because I mean like he allowed me to to experience the truest form of love you know and trust me I am terrified of love I hate it hate it hate it so now I'm just like emotionally unavailable i just don't like it not interested but it's just like mm, mm, you know it's weird it's weird like even now like if we talk you know whatever it's like somebody who is like your person is just like we we're not nothing like we's just not nothing but we's not anything either <laughs> oh gosh we it just weird it complicated but i don't know i i guess it just worked out for the best i don't know but i feel like it just gonna be harder you know like if if we see each other today or tomorrow it gonna be hard it gonna be like a breakup all over again because we're only gonna see each other for like what a week and then 
we just go back to our separate lives like it's just weird it's you know and long distance let me just tell you this long distance ain't for kids and it ain't for for like well kids because we are kids i see myself as a child so i'm 18 how old am i i'm 19 and like we are 19 and we're like just getting started with life so it's not like you know we are grown and we have like stable jobs and we could be like well i'm coming to visit you to like next week you know and we could buy our own plane tickets and these different things like it ain't for kids long distance ain't for kids ain't for kids if we were also older i feel like long distance could have worked as well because you could just hop on a flight you could just take a week vacation and just hop on a flight and get out of here you know go see a person spend a week then come back you know recharge your battery then come back but it's not like that because we're kids you know and before i was working i was unemployed he was still going to school like you know so it ain't for kids so yeah i'm just here chilling 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 i really just not on all of that to be honest i'm not on now all that love thing only could ease my put and yeah we cool him and i yeah i guess this this light's real bright in my eyes but months yeah it's it's nothing really to it if you know him it wasn't like you know anything bad you know some people are like <laughs> you know like when i used to watch youtube couples and stuff and like people find out that the youtube couple broke well he wasn't on my channel so y'all don't we weren't a youtube couple but you know like when y'all find out that they break up y'all wanna charge like like it's nothing like that it's like we good we cool and it just didn't work out i mean if if you know today or tomorrow he just happens to pop up in Trinidad and yeah but I just really know all of that and part of me just I feeling sorry for like even putting him through all of that but I kind of happy that I still try because in the beginning of the relationship before it even started I was like I never do long distance before how I gonna function with this and i still wanted to try it i still wanted to be with him i still wanted to give him the opportunity so and i did and i tried my best it just wasn't enough i guess i don't know but yeah yeah that's he's still my buddy or whatever <laughs> yeah we still cool i guess just all over the place so yeah he broke up oh and on to you know happier news my meet and greet is on the 20th of august so don't mess it i still have to drop like the venue and stuff i will put the flyer on like instagram and tiktok so you will see it you will see it and i will put the flyer in my next youtube video which will probably be this weekend maybe on our time but yeah okay okay and also this is why i told you all that it would be on my timing because when when i first came back to youtube it's still like it was still fresh and, and i just it was still fresh and i just didn't really want to talk about it yet and i i still wouldn't say that i'm over him or i'm like fully healed or anything like that it's just it's not so fresh so i can actually talk about it without crying or anything like that so because i don't want to come on youtube and cry no so yeah meet and greet in august on the 20th um i'm good i'm fine and stuff i look a mess because i just got up and i was like i need to post because I haven't posted in like three weeks and I'm very inconsistent and I'm so sorry but yeah and I also have the date for me to agree so I have to tell you also yeah I'm here don't forget 
mark the date get your time off from wherever you have to get it make sure your mom's know so she could drop you and yeah we're chilling on the 20th we're gonna take pictures we're gonna look cute and stuff and stuff laugh and talk and yeah all that good stuff so yeah that's it that's basically it bye don't forget wait wait what don't forget to like comment share subscribe now i can say bye bye